Welcome back to the channel guys and girls. It's finally here, the Snow Dog Sport. This has been months in the making. I've been super excited to see what this thing is in person. I have not seen one in person uh, that came out like a year or almost two years ago. So this is a 2023 model. This is the Sport B13 MER. So the R stands for reverse and the Sport means it's got a new, whole new design of a shell on the outside. that doesn't have that fabric that I have in my old one. My old one is technically still in my garage. So I'll do a comparison video between the two at some point. Uh, but it's technically already sold so i gotta do that this week and get that one ready to ship out but let's do an unboxing video and hopefully i can get it up and running uh has all the oil and hopefully all that stuff's good to go and i'll go rip it around the yard before it starts to rain because it's fall and that's what happens in the fall so big thanks to snow dog for sending me this uh i i just i had to go get 10 snips and a box cutter and let's start unwrapping this beast before it starts to pour out and maybe record so let's get the banding off that is going to be first. Get that up out of the way and let's drop the cardboard. That right there was satisfying. I'll tell you that. And uh, it looks like this thing is a beast compared to my last one. So this is a uh, one from like six and a half, seven horsepower. Now this is a 13 and a half horsepower. Uh, Briggs and Stratton engine, super easy to work on. And there we go. This thing is a monster, guys. An absolute monster. Let's fold the handlebars back. This thing is a beast. So, uh, hood straps aren't on. I doubt they put gas in it. Nope, she empty. I don't even know if I have any gas. And we have this little tote in the back here. Oh, I got to install the battery and all sorts of stuff. So I'll have to charge that up. And we got some other brackets in here. And then we have these new straps that hold the, uh, hold the hood down. So a lot easier access for engine compartment stuff. There we go. And belt storage. Let me, let me show you guys up close. Let me cut all these zip ties um, at the base here. And then we'll get it off the steel frame so I can drag it into my garage uh, before it starts to rain. I'm not worried about getting wet, just the camera gear. Let's pull it uphill. So there she is, all unboxed. That was super easy. Now, I'm only the only reason I'm getting this delivered to my house is because I'm now working with Snowdog. If you want to get yours, you got to use uh, go to snowdog.com, www.snowdog.com, and look up a dealer search for dealers in your area. So. There's one in New Hampshire called All in All over in Sutton, New Hampshire. There's one, I think there's two in Maine. Um, I'll leave a link for those directly below. And I think there's one in Vermont. So I'll leave the links for all those dealers right below just because I know a lot of you guys are local to me. So I'll leave those so you guys can easily access them. So a couple of big changes from the last one. One, the motor is now gigantic. So this is a 420cc Briggs & Stratton Professional XR motor. That's one, that's huge. Gas tank is obviously huge. They give you this little plastic box, which I've heard really nobody likes, but there's my battery, I gotta install that in there. Of course, um, another huge thing is the way that you actually access the motor. So we have this foldable hood design, kind of like a car, right? Which makes it a lot easier to use and access. And now we have reverse gear. We have a gigantic disc brake in there. Upgraded uh, belt and CVT system compared to the smaller one. So it's a lot bigger horsepower. We need a lot bigger motor. Electric start, of course, right down there. And we have a nice adjusting tool so we can tighten the chain that's on the other side. And so these are the hood straps which are super cool. We get the same bogey track system with springs. So there's three sets of bogies down there. And then we have a chain adjuster in the back. That's fine. I don't know what other models came with this, but they put a very nice grab bar on the front. That's gonna be a lot easier to move if you get stuck, a lot easier to lift up, 
and all that stuff. So that's really, really smart of them uh, compared to like the little D loop that I had in front of the other one. Same little headlight, which I might upgrade. We'll see how I can mount that. I know a lot of people mount like big uh, light bars in the front. We have the same basic controls in the back here, but a couple of nice features. So we get a parking brake here, which you're supposed to engage. We got electric start and we got heated grips and a headlight. And there's our kill switch. And we also have a remote choke, which is fantastic. So before I used to have to crawl under there and flick it when it was either hot or cold. And then I also have the reverse switch, which I've never used before. So that's gonna take me a while. We have a nice hard, harder plastic uh, snow dog snow flap in the back here. So I just took out the plastic tote that was in there. My plan is to build something a little more rugged than some corrugated plastic to put my sonar kind of right up in here as well as mounting my sonar transducer bar as well as mounting my new light flight auger which you guys have not seen yet but there is the beast it's got pull start just in case like i said i gotta install the battery got a nice heavy duty chain guard that's actually open now and i have to put uh spikes on it as well or uh, coal cutters it's gonna be a sweet rig so let's get some stuff ready uh, one, I got to check for gas, which I've already checked for it. It needs gas, it needs oil, I need to install the battery. And I'm probably going to pull start it for the first couple of times uh, until that battery's charged. I'm going to also put a trickle charger on that, uh, so a battery tender, just because it's going to be a while before I get to use this in the wintertime. And I'll show you guys the sled here in a minute as well. Always wear your kill switch when you're working on it too, or when you're trying to start it. So installing the battery is pretty easy. millimeter socket we'll loosen up the battery tray on both sides and then we open up the battery and all I got to do is put these little lugs in here like that put the red terminal down red to red and black to black if you're colorblind get help from somebody else And the next step is literally just putting gas in it, which should be fairly easy. And I'm using a high test just because it's a lot better for these motors. All right, so we are gonna put the parking brake on. Make sure everything's good down here. My old model had a key start to it, so I'm going to make sure that there's a key on somewhere. If there is one, I don't think there is for this big one. Make sure lights are off, run is on, kill cord is on. There we go, chokes all the way on, fuel is on. Double check the oil. All right, let's give it a pull start here. That was easy. Backing off the choke here. We're gonna let that warm up for a second. Let's go get the sled and get that unboxed as well. Uh, this just came plastic wrapped. We have our super heavy duty uh, hitching system. And so this is, I don't know how many mils or whatever, how thick this plastic is, but it, it is absolutely way thicker than a normal jet sled one because it's meant to that entire snow dog is meant to fit inside of this so you can put it in a smaller car which is super super cool i've not done that yet because i didn't have a snow dog sled in my last one so let's uh, get this hitched up and it also comes with the uh high faxes if you want to call them that so slippery plastic underneath or wear bars as i call them i am going to get a set of the skates that you mount right in the middle here and that helps you on glare ice otherwise it's like a you do uh, danger cookies, as I call them, death cookies. So you just like literally spin around until you stop. So we're going to get the get this hitched up. 
go get a GoPro on and then we're gonna rip around the yard here and uh, tear up the lawn. Actually, probably won't tear it up that much. All right, the, uh, this must've got damaged in shipping or something like that. It's a little bit bent, but that's okay. I got those in there. Simple as that. And she's hitched up. All right, let's start it. Let's start it up again. I'm gonna use a tight leash this time. And parking brake on. Definitely not as easy to turn as my other one. Oh my goodness. I had to adjust, adjust the camera there so I didn't run it over. Definitely a little bit harder to steer than my other one. And uh, someone said, if you want to really steer it, lift the handlebars. All right, let's try reverse. And I think I just pop that in like that. That thing right there. Holy. That is weird. I need to just pop it back for give it a second. There we go. I'm figuring this out at the same time you guys are, so. underneath these trays here. They can also get off. Yeah, let's go over this stump here. Not a big deal. Throw it right over that. Well there she is in all her glory. It is a lot heavier to handle than my last one. So it's about hundred more pounds uh, without stuff on it. So I am gonna do another video of, like I said, a comparison between the old one and this one. Uh, that'll be coming out at some point and I'll be doing another video of me decking it out. So I have to find a way to put the Garmin live scope on it, rig that off one side, put the, what do you wanna call it? Put the ice auger on it as well. So I think I'm gonna run them off the sides instead of sideways like I ran the last one because it made up a bigger profile and the blades were hanging out kind of dangerously. So that's my plan. Like I said, big thank you to Snowdog for sending me this beast. And uh, only like probably middle of the end of December I'll be on the ice with this, hopefully. We'll see, it'll probably be at least January 1st I'll have it out in the ice. Um, hopefully before that I'll have it out in the snow and I'll get a rip through some, some powder snow for you guys because that's. That's what you always want to see with these things is does it have enough power to rip through some deep snow. So thanks for watching the uh, Snow Dog Sport unboxing video.